We're back here on our NCAA tournament preview. We're now into the West region. Guys, let's take a look here. We already have a few to predetermined winners, but the one that'll be really interesting here will be Baylor, Nebraska. That could be upset looking right there. What do you guys think over at the desk? It's all about the Sikkim Bears. Baylor's 11 for their last 13, and they're playing really good basketball right now. Nebraska, they're playing good in the middle of the season, not playing so well now. Yeah, I'm going to have to go on the Baylor as well. They both are very good athletic teams, and but I just think Baylor will be able to overtop it in during this tournament. I'm going with the popular upset pick. I'm going with Nebraska because even though Baylor is on a hot streak right now, I don't know if they're going to be able to maintain it that long into the tournament. Blaine, you have the deciding vote. I see Nebraska. We got 2v2 right now. Uh, I'm going to go 3-2 with Baylor. Uh, just more athleticism and they're on fire more. All right, looks like we got Nebraska winning this one. Now, this one should be interesting. I think Creighton, de or excuse me, Creighton defeats Louisiana Lafayette. No. But that could be an upset there. What? Listen, it's all about the Raging Cajuns. Creighton has one player, Doug McDermott. They haven't played good basketball. The Raging Cajuns are a team a lot like St. John's that beat up on a Creighton team. That's all you need is one player. Doug McDermott <laughs> averages around 30 <laughs> points a game. He delivers that team. If he's hot, they're hot. You can't take one player to the national championship, but you could take one player to the round of 32. That's what Louisville said against Moorhead State. Too much <laughs> offensive power on for Creighton. Creighton. So Kyle, it looks like 4v1. I say Creighton. It's be Creighton. Now we've already kind of <laughs> got a predetermined right. Arizona and San Diego State to move on. Now Creighton, Nebraska. I honestly think Creighton can move on. Doug McDermott could probably maybe get you to the dance of the Sweet 16, but that yeah. might be where they max out. He what do you will guys get think? you there to the yeah, Sweet 16. They, yeah, he's taking you to the dance. Yeah, he'll, he'll get him. He's right. rolling. Pass Nebraska. Yeah. Great pass Nebraska. Now, Oregon, Wisconsin should be interesting. What do you guys think about quack. that? Quack, quack, quack. Bo Ryan's a coach a lot like Jamie Dixon. Blows a lot of games. Oh, yeah, and Oregon matches up very well against Wisconsin. Team that struggles a lot against athletic teams. I don't know. I might have to go with Wisconsin on this one. Oregon, yeah, they do have play a little bit more physical, but I just think Oregon's fielding, shooting-wise, will be able to get the one win over there. I'm just not sold on Wisconsin. I think Oregon is going to pull off the upset. I think Oregon's going to be a quiet Cinderella team, Oregon. I thought Wisconsin, but it looks like Tim and I are outnumbered. Oregon moving on to face Creighton. Now let's move up to the Elite Eight. Arizona, San Diego State. I mean... Do you think San Diego State poses that much of a threat to Arizona at all, or are they Not just going to cruise on? Um, guard play-wise, it's going to be a tough game, but Arizona is going to be able to beat them because of the low po presence they have. Arizona. I'm not even arguing with them. They were the best team all year, Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. All right, Arizona as well. Arizona, it looks like they're going to cruise on. Crane, Oregon. Now, does the Cinderella team stay in the dance, or is Midnight finally going to strike on them? Doug McDermott's finally going to go down. Mike Moser's going to – Pose a lot of problems for him defensively, using his length, beat him, and he's going to take him down to a place where Doug McDermott isn't comfortable. Yeah, that's probably where I'm going to have to take this ride back home. Yeah, got to definitely go with Oregon there. No arguments, Oregon. So I'm going to go Creighton. You're going Creighton now. Wait a minute. Like, here comes the argument. I want to hear this. Let's go. I think Doug McDermott has one more game left in him that he can carry Creighton. I think he could get – I think – Oregon's run, they're, they're, they'll come to an end. And I think uh, just Creighton just has so much offensive power in my mind. Oregon's going to get the flying V here. Maybe. Right. I like the freshman's pick here. Let's keep the dance going. You got to be kidding more round. Let's put Such Creighton in. Come home. Now, the only thing is, though, they got Arizona. Yeah, they're definitely out. you got to go with the Pittsburgh kid. TJ McConnell is going to shut down Doug McDermott. Bye-bye, Creighton. Yeah, definitely Arizona. There's no way Crane gets past them. Yeah, Arizona. <laughs> Arizona. <laughs> yeah, it looks team. like Arizona's going to cruise through. But, guys, we see here Arizona, it looks like they just have a nice, easy pass to the Final Four between any of these teams, San Diego State, Gonzaga, or Creighton. Do you really think any of them could really pose any sort of threat of Arizona, or is it really going to be that much of a cakewalk San for them? San Diego State's going to give them a game because they have very athletic guard play. And Steve Fisher is a great coach and has been able to match up with a lot of teams that he shouldn't be able to. Yeah, I definitely think, if anything, San Diego State's definitely a good upbringing team. They've been good for the past couple of years. They definitely do have a good chemistry. I think that's probably the only team that will really give them a scare. I don't think Arizona's going to lose a, or win a game by less than 10 points this entire way to the Final Four. 
I'm with Kyle and Zach, uh, sorry, Tim. <laughs> uh, I'm with San Diego State. Uh, Steve Fisher, he's an old-time coach, and they have great guard play. So He's going to treat this team a lot like the Fab Five. Ooh. Just Chris Weber's not going to blow this. Blow so this in, the oh. end, <laughs> in the end, the West will be won by Arizona, moving them into the Final Four. We have one last bracket to break down before the Final Four. That's the Midwest bracket. We will be doing that right after this.